Hey guys, my name is Julia and welcome to my official junior year dorm tour. For those of you that don't know, I'm a junior at Brown and I'm still living in the dorms, which is pretty typical for people that go to Brown, but it's not very common for upperclassmen at other colleges to still be in the dorms, but I thought I'd give you guys a dorm tour because I'm in a little bit of a different living situation than I was in last year and the year before. I'm living in Greg or New Dorm. It has a bunch of different like nicknames, but the official name for it is the Varan Gregorian Quad and I live in Greg A. There's like two different buildings in this quad and I'm living in a three-person suite. This suite is kind of weird because it has a really big common room and then three individual rooms for everybody living here and a sink in the common room but we're back to communal bathrooms so it's a little bit different from what I experienced last year where I was in a double but I had a private bathroom and the year before where I was in a double with communal bathrooms so I guess I can say that I've experienced it all at this point but I guess without further ado let's get into the dorm tour. So I guess the dorm tour starts here. This is me and my two other roommates turn around and this is our common room it's really really big to be honest and this is the sink that i was talking about earlier in our common room we just have a bunch of different like miscellaneous chairs i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit chaotic we have this one this one this one this one and a bigger one over here we have a bev cart which i think you could assume what is included on that bev cart and then down here we just have lily's yoga mats and rollers and stuff like that because she likes to do at home yoga and pilates with the tv so with this is actually Lily's TV. I honestly don't use it very much, but it's really nice to have. Beneath that, we just have a bunch of different plates and bowls and eating utensils, along with miscellaneous stuff like tea and games. And we have these curtains that look like this. And then our windows overlook the quad. So this is the Vartan Gregorian quad. So that's pretty much the common room. If you walk up and to the left, this is where Josie and Lily's rooms are. And then they have a huge closet on their side. Walking back this direction, Direction, that's where my room is. But really quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys the sink area. This is pretty standard. We just have a massive mirror, some towels. We have this cute little container for our toothbrushes. And then we just have a bunch of like normal sink stuff. And then beneath here, I have these bins that I brought from home that we've been collectively using to just like store our bathroom stuff. This is my one bin. It's what she looks like, pretty basic. And then going back here, this is my little nook. I have this massive closet right outside of my room. I just kind of store a bunch of like miscellaneous things here. And then this stuff on this shelf is my cooking supplies because since I'm here over winter break and the dining halls aren't open, I have to like cook for myself. So this has been really nifty to like store all of that, but that typically wouldn't be here. And then down here, we have all of my shoes, lots and lots of shoes and even more shoes and more. But I guess without further ado, this is my room. A common pattern with my room is that a lot of the walls are really beaten up, so don't be too surprised when you see that. It was not me. When you first take a step into my room, you have another fairly big closet right here. On the ground here, I like to just store my core shoes. We have my outside slippers, my shower shoes, and my indoor slippers there's a difference. And then my little shower caddy, which I keep on a folded target bag because I don't want to stain the floor. And then up here, we just have two command hooks that hold my shower towel and my shower robe. And then on this, I just have a bunch of different sweaters, jackets, and dresses. And then back here, we have a super deep shelf where I keep my pants, jeans, sweatpants, and sweatshirts. And then above here, I just have my shorts. It's January. I'm not going to be wearing those anytime soon, so that's why they're up there and then I just have a bunch of cleaning supplies as well and then below that we just have my laundry hampers where I have my towels darks and lights and then moving this way we got my trash can air fryer electric kettle hand sanitizer microwave and my fridge my fridge is really really big compared to my other fridges that I've had in past years the one thing about this fridge that is unfortunate is my freezer this is the freezer in question she's baby but we deal and then from my little kitchen area you turn to the right and you have this little shelf a bunch of stuff but i'll explain we got little family photos my perfume jewelry more jewelry and more perfume and a little memory jar of all the special things that my boyfriend has given me moving down we have all of my camera equipment just a bunch of really fun sunglasses and then all of my gel nail stuff which i need to do because we lost a soldier the other day and then moving down one more we just have all of my hair styling tools and then all of my hair products and then going to the right we have this massive full body mirror and then going to the right again we have this little like storage thing 
So in this top drawer, I just store a bunch of pajamas, undergarments, and socks. And then in the one below that, it's kind of a bunch of stuff, but we have my like first aid kit and all of my vitamins mixed with some t-shirts, leggings, and athletic shorts. Also, can we talk about how satisfying this is? Right next to this, we have my desk. At my desk, we have another vanity that lights up. This is super great for just being able to have a moment to do my skincare and get ready in my room. To the right of my vanity, we have all of my skincare care and makeup and then just a cord organizer which makes my heart very happy and then this is my window it's pretty big it just outlooks the quad and it's a lot prettier when the trees are full right here we just have this thing that my sister gave me for my 21st birthday it's so cute i love it right here we have a vent that cannot regulate temperature it's either insanely hot or insanely cold but i guess at the end of the day i'm grateful that we have ac and heat so we take what we can get down here we have a fan and my air purifier to try to minimize the sickness and allergies that marinate in this college. I normally just keep my book bag right here, trash can down there, and then we have this pull-out drawer. There's a bunch of random stuff in here. It's kind of like school supplies, hair stuff, and skincare stuff all mashed into one. And then we got these chairs that rock and give me a heart attack every single time I lean back in them. They're not very comfortable. Down here, I just have a little runner rug. I've had these for like all three years that I've been at college so far. And at the end, we have a utility cart. In the top one, there's not very much stuff. I just have my LED remote my vitamins and some tissues. Then we have skincare vitamins and a speaker. I don't know, a lot of my stuff is very like mixed up and blended together, but it just makes sense in my brain. And then down here we have snacks and cups and eating utensils. Under my bed is kind of its own demon. It's extra cluttered because I have to have all of my food here because we're here for winter session for gymnastics, but I just kind of store a lot of like miscellaneous stuff under here along with my snacks, as you can see. And then above this is my bed. I feel like I'm kind of notorious for having a bunch of bedding. The theme originally was gray, white, and pink, but we kind of veered off of that a little bit. We have three new members since I moved in, which are these two jelly cats, the acorn peanut, and then this mushroom from Addie. We kind of have this running inside joke where we always say like, oh, I'm gonna go home to my mushroom, as in like your home, because Addie feels like everybody lives in little mushrooms in her mind. So I used to always say, I'm gonna go back to my mushroom. And for Christmas, she gave me a mushroom. So I actually do go home to a mushroom. But anyways, this is what my bed looks like. She's super comfy and I love her very, very much. Beneath my bed, I just have these six bins that I've had for the past three years and they're doing me good. This bottom bin is just a clutter of self-care stuff. And then this bin above it is all of my athletic apparel. And then above that, we have sheets and towels. This one is just a bunch of fun, like fancy going out tops. And then the other bin is just normal everyday tops. And then, oh my gosh, this is just the clutter bin. It has no theme to it. It's just, it just exists. And then to the right of that, we just have a drying rack. And I almost forgot, I just recently hung up this butterfly. It's real and it's from Peru. I got it from Snowport over winter break and I love it. Like, look how gorgeous. And it just looks so pretty right above my desk. So that's pretty much it for my dorm tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. My room is kind of small this year, but I'm very grateful to have my own room. I will say I'll take my own individual room over a private bathroom any day. Communal bathrooms really aren't that bad. It's also just kind of like part of the college experience. You just kind of learn to put up with it and get into your routine and it's just fine. But having your own personal space to come back to every single day is like the best thing ever. So this dorm has six floors. On floors two, three, and four, there are communal kitchens, which I'll insert clips right here so you guys can see. They just kind of have these general eating tables, a stove, microwave, oven, and then full-size fridge and freezer. The quad is also really pretty, especially when the trees are full and the weather's nice. My dorm is actually built right above a late night dining hall. It's not currently open, so I can't show you what it looks like, but it's called Joe's. And at Joe's, they just serve a bunch of fried chicken, burgers, french fries, onion rings, mozzarella sticks, you name it. It's kind of just like a late night diner that everybody goes to after a late night out. Super, super fun, and like the best things always happen in Joe's. Last year, we just got all new laundry machines, which I will insert clips of right here. They're really, really nice, don't get me wrong, but the only thing is sometimes the technology that they're hooked up to doesn't work, and that's the most frustrating 
frustrating thing ever because they're like unnecessarily high tech and there's like a whole swiping mechanism instead of just being able to go down and put your laundry in and hit the go button you have to like swipe in and pay even though it's free it's this whole confusing thing but like i'd say like one out of every 10 times maybe seven times either the physical machines break or just like the scanner breaks and it doesn't let you do your laundry so that's got me heated especially when you're having a bad day and then the laundry machine just won't work it just will send you over the edge and then we also just have the classic trash room and recycling room the other two people that i live with basically have identical rooms to mine thankfully all of the rooms were the same exact square footage which is nice because it doesn't make an awkward situation where you kind of have to dish out the rooms and somebody's kind of stuck with like the bad room i know some suites are so uneven where like there's rooms that are double the size of another and that just creates its own mess i really love my room and i love the location i like being like tucked on the side instead of like you know next to somebody it's nice it's just like my little nook i will say i do wish that my dorm was a little bit higher because it's kind of at this awkward height where everybody can see into my room if you're like standing far enough back especially since like the dining hall is such a social area i don't really want everybody seeing me changing so that can be a little bit annoying sometimes and my shade is also broken but yeah, this was the official last dorm tour that I'll be giving you guys. That's kind of crazy to say, but I don't think I'm ever going to be living in a dorm again. My senior year, I'm guaranteed to be off campus. They thankfully finally let seniors off campus, but they do let seniors live on campus if they would like. But basically up until your junior year, unless you have accommodations, you're not allowed to go off campus. But anyways, I would say my three years of dorm living have been pretty average. I wouldn't say it's been exceptionally bad or good. It just kind of is what it is. Next year, I'm going to be living on off campus in a house with my two other friends on the gymnastics team. I'm super excited. I can still give you guys like a house tour at that point, but it's no longer going to be a Brown University dorm tour. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been really trying to crank the content out for you guys while I'm on winter break and on an empty campus where I have literally nothing to do besides push videos out for you guys and stress about getting an internship. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for future videos. I'm going to have a bunch of really fun travel vlogs coming out for my gymnastics meets which I've never done before, but I'm really excited to document and share with you guys. Happy New Year. I love you guys very much, and I'll be sure to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.